This video is going to give you a brief introduction to beta minus decay. To begin with, let's look at the notation. So I've got the element which I've just wiggled is x, and to the left of that I'm going to write the number of nucleons over the number of protons. The nucleons are all the particles in the nucleus, and the protons, of course, they're the protons. As an example, let's look at a helium molecule. So in a helium I have two electrons, two protons, two neutrons. That means I'm going to have four nucleons, and I'm going to have two protons, and helium is element abbreviated with as HE. So 4 over 2 HE. Now let's look at a decay, a beta minus decay. So I'm going to start by looking at carbon. In fact, I'm going to look at carbon 14. So I've got 14 nucleons, you can't see them all in my model, and I've got 6 protons of the 14 nucleons. And of course C is a symbol for carbon, so 14 over 6 carbon. And that's going to, when it goes through beta minus decay, two products are going to come off of this. The first one's going to be an electron with a negative charge, that's why it's called beta minus. The second one is going to be something, a little piece of energy, and it's called an antineutrino. The electron comes with an antineutrino. This doesn't have charge, and its mass is so incredibly small that for all practical purposes, it's no mass. Just think of it as a little piece of energy coming off of this. Now, the electron is not a nucleon. So it's not a nucleon. It's not found in the nucleus. So that's going to get a zero to the left of it. But it does have a charge of negative one. That is, negative one times a proton. So that charge is going to be negative one. And that's how I'm going to write the symbol for the electron in my equation. So I've got 14 over 6 carbon, and that's going to turn into, well, my two products here, which is going to be an electron, 0 of negative 1, and an antineutrino. Now let's balance this equation. If I look at conservation of mass, I'm going to have 14, 14 nucleons. On the right-hand side, I've got 0 for the electrons. So what plus 0 is equal to 14? Well, just 14. On the bottom, that's to be conservation of charge. I've got six positive charges on the left. I've got minus one on the right. So what minus one equals six? That will be seven. So if I, anything with seven protons, that's going to be nitrogen from our periodic table. So where do these elements come from for this beta minus decay? Well, it comes from a neutron that transforms into a proton, an electron, and an antineutrino. So on the left-hand side of this uh, balancing equation. Left hand side, that's a neutron. And when the neutron creates the proton, it's also got to create a negative charge because you have to conserve charge. So it starts off as neutral on the left, and then on the right I added one plus charge, that was the proton for the nitrogen, and then one minus, and that was the electron. And then what's left over is a little bit of energy, and that's the antineutrino.